Yo guys, I'm Nas. Welcome back to this new tutorial on the PK channel. Today I will show you how to make a profile pic for Steam or Discord using any team logo. Um, I will use the Pulse logo um, just because it's one of the most popular teams and many of you probably know it as well. You can use any logo you want though, there is not a big difference at all. Um, the end result will look kind of like this, just a clean and good visible AVI. And yeah, in the description you will find everything you need um, to follow this tutorial step by step. Um, just download the file link down there. Um, yeah, okay, so now let's get right into this. So the very first step you want to do is to open the logo of your team in Photoshop. Um, if you're using the Pulse logo, um, you can just open the PSD file Pulse RV, um, which I put in the folder that you just downloaded. Yeah, so now you have the Pulse 3D render in Photoshop, and yeah, the first thing you want to do is um, create some good layer style for the P, and to do that, we want to click on the P layer and blending options and now go to drop shadow enable it and um, I think that's fine already put something in like this uh, 74 3 51 and 84 um, oh, click on it again blending, blending options um, and go to inner glow oh and leave it like this already as well um, yeah, I think that looks good. 54 and 35. Okay. Okay, so for the next step you want to duplicate the P layer. Um, and now you want to right click and blending options. Now you want to uncheck the drop shadow and make the inner glow less big. Um, put it on color dodge and t yeah make it some, uh, something like this um, then close that out and uh, set the fill to zero okay um, so now that we have that you want to create a new layer uh, select your brush tool and use a white small brush, something like this, yeah. And ah, a little bit bigger maybe. And then paint around the Pulse logo or the logo in general. Um, something like this. Okay, once you have that, um, use your um, selection tool and click on the uh, pulse layer and left click and then go back on the light layer again and delete. So now we have something like this and yeah. The next thing you want to do is make a new layer again um, and select a bigger brush something like this and paint again around the um, logo like this and then select the pulse logo again Again, use your selection tool, select the outside of the logo and delete the light again. Now put the blending mode to color dodge and make the opacity way lower. Put this also to overlay, uh, color dodge, sorry. Okay. Alright, so the next step is to drop in... Um, this 
grungy texture from the folder if you download it. Um, you want to size it up a little bit and put it over the P of the Pulse logo. Um, now you want to right click on the layer and click on Rasterize layer. Okay, so now you want to select the selection tool. Uh, then you want to select the, the P layer and click on the outside of the logo so that you select the outside again. Then go back to the grunge texture layer and delete the um, yeah, remaining texture so that you only have the P logo as a texture. Um, then put the blending mode to overlay and put down the opacity to yeah somewhere around this. Okay, so now we want to modify the um, look of the triangle. Um, to do that, we are going to add some lights again. So select your brush tool again and uh, make a medium sized brush and just paint around the uh, triangle, especially in the corners. Um, it'll look kind of nice in the end. Okay, a little bit here as well. Um, now select the triangle layer again. Use the selection tool to select the outside and delete um, the light again. Okay, now let's put the opacity down a little bit. Something like this. Make another layer. Um, Use a smaller brush, something like this, and brush around the corners again. Also place some brushes in the inside. Um, yeah, you can verify in the brush thickness as well to make it a uh, to make it a little bit more uh, individual <laughs> there we go um, yeah now select the uh, triangle layer again select the outside of the layer and delete the lights again okay now reduce the positive opacity again Duplicate the triangle layer, put it on top of um, all the other light layers, click on fill and reduce the amount to zero, then go uh, on to blending options, uh, uncheck pattern overlay and color overlay and just make an inner glow for it, um, blending mode color dodge, um, we should size it like, that, like this and make the opacity a little bit lower so now this already looks kind of nice all right so now we want to add a background to this uh, I'll just use this wallpaper I put in the folder that you downloaded um, if you don't want to use this uh, background you can just look up some wallpapers yourself just type in something like uh, dark background or dark wallpaper or something uh, so yeah so put that behind all the other layers and reduce your opacity so like this uh, then create a layer mask uh, use a brush and make make it bigger and brush out some parts so that it looks kind of random and now reduce your opacity even more I think that looks good. Um, now drop in another screenshot or wallpaper or whatever. And put it behind the one with the layer mask and create a hue saturation layer. And put down the brightness and saturation. Like this. Yeah, that looks good to me. All right, so now to the lightnings. Um, 
Yeah, I also gave them to you in this uh, pack thingy. So just drop them in. Uh, put the blend mode to... I think it's darker color? No. Um, lighten. Yeah, it's light. Okay. Um, and scale it up. So that looks pretty big and that kind of matches the uh, P or well, the D logo so that kind of touches with it. Okay. So now duplicate it. STRG uh, J and right click flip horizontal and put it over there. Okay, so yeah, we have that now. Um, now I want to create a, another light layer to make it look a little bit cooler and add some orange lights on the logo. Pick the orange from the lightning and brush around the edges of the lightning to the logo. <coughs> okay, once you have done that, duplicate this layer. Um, then go to the P layer um, and use the selection tool to select the outside of the P and delete it from one layer. Now go to the triangle layer and select the outside again. Then go back to the other uh, light layer and delete it as well. So now we have those small uh, lights on the logo. I want to put the opacity down a little bit, just like this. Just a small touch to make it look a little bit better. Um, actually, I also want to lower the opacity of the texture. And lower the drop shadow because it's kind of too strong. Alright, um, okay, so now we want to add another light on top of the, the logo, like a headlight. Um, use white again, make a big brush, uh, maybe 800, and put it up there. Um, reduce the opacity, uh, duplicate it, oh no, not duplicate it, make another layer, uh, use a smaller brush, and light in the middle, and put a light in the middle, make the opacity lower again, I think I'm gonna keep it like this, and then like this. <laughs> okay, so we are nearly done. Uh, I just want to add some black brushes to kind of uh, make the contrast higher. Like this. Uh, lower the opacity a little bit. Now you can add a text if you want. Um, yeah, size it up again. And change the color to white. Um, I'm gonna use a font called Falcon Punch. Looks kind of cool. And yeah, let's add some drop shadow on that. And the stroke. No, not the stroke, satin, sorry. Make sure the color is black in the blend mode overlay. Then put the the uh, distance to somewhere like this and the size to somewhere like this. 
Ah, uh, needs to be far away. No. Ah. Uh, oh yeah. Distance to something like this. Like something like this. The angle you can just verify it however you want. And create an inner glow. Not that big, just pretty small. Like this, yeah. Okay, so yeah, now you got yourself a pretty nice new profile pic. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. And um, yeah, if you want me to make more tutorials, just tell me. Um, and yeah, see ya. Yeah.